Good to see so many people here. Um, we'll figure out how we do the exercise later because we expected like 15 people, but <laughs> that's fine, it's good. So um, what we're going to do, and I will introduce us in a moment, is uh, we're going to show you uh, sh shortly uh, what leading with Obey is. Um, and after that, you're going to actually exercise to build up the obeya, which is something on a wall or in a room. After that, uh, Jürgen will show in the other room um, an experiment he did with a product owner in a less um, environment, how to use obeya to be more effective, more valuable. Uh, but we're going to experiment first ourselves before he's going to show that because we don't want to put uh, things in your head before thinking yourself. So that's a little bit how what we're going to do. So uh, this is Jürgen. Uh, he's a colleague of mine. <laughs> Hopefully he'll do that at the end as well. Then, then it was valuable. Um, uh, he's a colleague of mine. We're colleagues. We work together in several occasions and uh, we, we work with uh, Leading with Abeya. My name is Mark. So a Bel <laughs> Thank you. Uh, a Belgium, Belgium guy and a Dutch guy, usually our jokes start something like that. Uh, <laughs> so the Dutch and, and, and Belgian people can, uh, can share some of those. So um, we're going to start by talking about leading with Obeya. So uh, it will be short. If you want to have more questions, we're going to uh, reserve some time in open space to dive deeper into it. Uh, but well, I'll give a short introduction, hopefully just not enough for you to exercise and learn yourself. Um, so what is Obeya? Does anybody know? Eve. Uh, it's something we use a lot of the time, Obeya room, which could give uh, an easy overview of, of all activities we do. It's also to find out where, where the blocking points and to visualize those, which will involve them as well. Yeah, so I'll repeat for people who couldn't hear it. Uh, in Toyota, they use Obeya as a room to visualize things to work with, basically, right? In a very small summary. That's basically what Obeya means. It means uh, wall or room, actually, in Japanese. And uh, we're talking about leading with Obeya, which is a reference model which uses Obeya to see, learn, and act together with a group of people. So it's, it's broader than Obeya. We use Obeya to actually have meaningful conversation and, and a good collaboration. So that's in, in a nutshell what Obeya is. So Obeya originates from Toyota, so I have to be careful because we have a Toyota guy here. Uh, but they actually used it for the Toyota Prius to, because this engineer thought, okay, I need to develop a car with new technology, hybrid technology, and half the time we usually develop a car. Okay, that's hard. So what we need to do is find ways to do that. Uh, and, and they started experimenting with uh, a, a big room to visualize all the stuff next to the space where the actual Obeya was developed. And they constantly had a prototype in their Obeya. Um, so this is very shortly where it originates. Uh, one warning, Toyota has like a long history of continuous improvement. So when you're going to try Obeya, they failed and learned, probably will take longer for you. Because you also need this continuous improvement mindset, which most companies not have as well as Toyota, at least back at then. Um, so what is Obeya? Obeya is basically uh, the room. And we, in leading with Obeya, we converted it into uh, five areas which are interconnected. So this is also the case study, so pay attention, you will get some papers to read it later. But in the, in the Obeya, we usually start with whatever our purpose or thing that we want to achieve is. So in our case, we have the uh, use case, Grow It Yourself. And Grow It Yourself is a company that combines horticulture with uh, 
uh, like uh, domotica or what's the English word, uh, like all the sensors and stuff to combine that, to grow something yourself in your garden, apartment, balcony. So our purpose is we improve people's health and ecological footprint by making sustainable food production available in small spaces. So you could see that as the bigger purpose of your product or, or company or whatever you want to use Obey of. Um, that's where we start because we always start by the true north. We want to learn how to get there. In the Obeya, we, in the leading with Obeya, we use strategic capabilities, which are presented in our room, in our wall. Uh, and these should reflect everything what is important for you to achieve your purpose. The things that you need to learn to do well in order to achieve this. So in our use case, we uh, defined four. Uh, I will explain the first one, so you have an example. The first one is customer delight. Healthy food in urban districts with limited space housing is expensive and difficult to get. We'll provide a simple solution for people to grow and share their own food products. You will get the papers later to read all of those. Everything we do should uh, influence those and get them better. So these are also interconnected. So the second one is environmental uh, impact something about product quality and financial viability as examples. These should represent everything that is important in your system, in your environment. So you can do a lot for customer delight, but you should be able to see that your product quality, what it does with that. So if you do too much of this, it might influence this. And that's why you want to, want to represent everything that is important in your system. So this is the first area in, in Leaning with Obeya, which is called Lead Successful Strategies. Visually, we have the second area, which is called Drive Performance. And Drive Performance, we put one example here, but you're going to actually make more, um, should reflect how well are we doing uh, in order to get to this strategic capability and to this purpose, including where do we want to become? Where do we want to go, grow to? So whenever we look at this part of the Obeya, we should identify, oh, this one is not going well. How do we learn to get there? I'll explain this area in a minute, but this is what Drive Performance is about. How can we see how we perform towards our goal and where we need to improve? Deliver value is another area which is basically um, the activities or deliverables that we think should help in moving this better. This could be anything that is relevant to you. Still, this is uh, the performance. This should be the output. And after we've done the output, we should see whether the performance goes up or down. And if not, how do we uh, act on that? Then we have two other areas. One is solve problems. And this is about structured problem solving. So about um, how do we improve our system in order to get better value for our customers or whatever else you think is important. Um, this is not about like small improvement. This is about systemic improvements, which you should uh, look into research and, and find out how better. How you exactly do that? It's up to you. Uh, we usually start with Toyota Kata. So first understanding where do we want to go to uh, for this problem? Where are we now? And what is our next target condition to experiment to become better? Um, then we have the fifth area, which we call act and respond. And which is basically for the team that works in the Obeya to um, work on requests from others in the company, to share context, to learn together, um, I usually basically pragmatically say, get rid of emails and one-on-one -on -one telephone calls, but share with your team, with your group, and, and learn practical stuff uh, to, to do better in order to achieve your purpose. So these are the five areas in the Leading with Obeya model. Um, and these are interconnected. So 
if we learn here that something is not where we want it to be, um, we should either solve a problem, a systemic problem to improve it. Sometimes you define like a uh, simpler action where you need to find out what to do, which could be reflected here, or even a small action there. And all these things should help each other, share in context and find out together. This is the visual place to do that, the OBEA. In the leading with OBEA reference model, this has one third of the value. Two thirds of the value is in seeing, acting and learning together. So a team, this could be a management team, leadership team, product owner with representative teams, whatever your team in your contact is, uh, use this to share context, see what happens, act and learn together. This is what two thirds of the value is. If you just make a nice wall or room or visual, it might help, but it's not uh, the, the underlying idea of leading with OBEA. And leading with OBEA is about um, how to treat a cat. So some organizations think their organization is a washing machine. One part breaks, we put another part in and it works again. If your cat is not happy, I don't know who has a cat. If we put a bow on your cat, will it be happy? No. And my cat might be, but yours not. We need to find out what makes our cat happy. And the only way to do that is learn, experiment, and, and make it happy. And your cat and my obeya and your obeya might be different. So whatever works in your context might not work in your context. And this should help us do that. So leading with obeya is about reducing complexity, um, deal with your brain issues, uh, all, all our cognitive biases, um, and in the end, see, learn, and act together. In short, um, have I said everything? That's a good one. So, <laughs> thanks. So, in order to do that, this will not work for you, most likely. Why not? Change is hard. The only way to get change, and one of the principles in leading with Obeya is rhythm and routine. So all of these five areas have their own uh, rhythm. So lead successful strategy, we don't recommend too much, but usually uh, you do that once a quarter, see whatever we want to achieve, are we still doing the right thing? Because we learned a lot, but this should be relatively stable. Drive performance, we do that every two weeks to see what are the most, uh, uh, what are our results, what are, what is our performance, and especially where do we need to learn and do better. So we do that, for example, in week one. In week two, also every two weeks, we do deliver value. We discuss, is it still worth doing what we're doing now? Um, how are these things going? So maybe you visualize that here is some impediment. Um, and do we need to adjust that? And of course, if you learn here something, you, it might be helpful there. In week three, we do again this one. In week four, we do again this one. Solve problems, we do when we identify a problem, usually with a coaching kata, but you can find maybe better ways to do that, um, and to, to quickly uh, improve. And we pro usually also act on that here and act and respond, which we do usually three times a week, shortly, with the team which is working in the OBEA, um, where we um, identify problems, put requests, uh, and act on that by chasing what, we're, what we need to do, which might be small, but it's most important there, and the most value that I saw here, is that your team is sharing context often, and not calling each other, or mailing each other. And if I ask, Jürgen, can you help me? If I ask that in the group, Someone else might help me better. Um, and all these rhythms have their own routine, which these are example routines. You can watch that tomorrow or later. Um, how to do that well in order to be, get more and more effective in that. I think this is the short introduction, uh, which was really hard to me because usually I spend a bit more time with it. 
but hopefully good enough for the next exercise. So, first, before that, is there anything that is unclear? I don't want to have deep discussions now, but some things I said which were not clear, which we can clarify now about leading with Obeya. You see a Kanban board? Um, yeah, so leading with Obeya. But, but the, I think if I take the question more conceptually, leading with Obeya talks about these areas. This is an example. So I've seen this one uh, visualized differently, also not in like iterations or time, but in, for example, in uh, things you do for your customer on certain topics. Um, how you exactly do that, you have to learn yourself. But this is a starting point just to see and have visual, what are we doing? How are we doing it? Um, I'm also not so much fan usually of this because it looks like old ways, but find your own better ways. The most important thing is that you do it um, together and share context, learn, and, and especially in, in, in act and respond to make sure that you are on top of the ball, that you can act fast and, and share context fast instead of Oh, next month we're going to improve or something like that. And please find better ways. So, any other questions? Uh, can you repeat the whole process in time? Uh, you know, like uh, on the surface? Um, yeah, so to summarize, leading with Obey has five areas. Lead successful strategies. We usually look at that more intensively once a quarter, but these are always on top of our mind because we always want to see where are we heading? So that's one. And maybe from the perspective of uh, fashion that is now in the Obeya team. Like, you know, the, the process? Yeah. I'll try, but I don't know whether I understand your question. So um, we do drive performance to see how are we doing in order to achieve this and learn to do better. Once every two weeks, we uh, discuss how we spend uh, our capacity and, and which activities we do in order to get here. And that's why they're also visually aligned. That's once in the two weeks. We solve systemic deep problems with structured problem solving whenever it appears and then a couple of times per week with a small group. And we act and respond. We've seen learn and act together uh, three times a week, but find the amount of time you need. So usually leadership teams start using this, but we have been experimenting how a product owner with other people in the company uh, started using this. So this is actually what we want to explore with you. More details will be uh, in the open space and probably you'll learn better by doing it than me explaining. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's the reason why I hate <laughs> to have it so short. So one of the principles is thinking in systems and ownership. So um, one of the principles is that the team... Can we please... Sorry, uh, it's really hard to hear people when people are talking. Uh, um, I'm saying, so not one per everyone is accountable to make this happen. So the whole point is that with your team together you achieve this and not you do this and I don't care. So that's why uh, uh, the, the respond, taking responsibility as a team is the most important thing. But thanks for your question. Okay, so I'm gonna stop here. We're talking and we're going to work. So um, what we're going to do, we're going to um, define metrics, preferably, um, monitor metrics or steer metrics, both one, to see how are we performing for this. And we're going to find the activities that could help contribute to, uh, to get here with your team. So the first step that you should do, there is a case, the use case is explained. These are all printed. So read them with your, with your team. Choose one of these four, and we have many groups, so I hope every will be taken. 
uh, every strategic capability and um, discuss together how can we see that we're performing here to, to these examples uh, and where do we want to reach and try to um, visualize that in a nice way so you can actually see, act and learn together. That's one. Second thing is you're going to define at least two BBIs, deliverables, whatever you want to call them. One short term, one a little bit longer, so maybe one really clear, one a little bit broader, for the same strategic capability. Which are group? But, but we're going to do these two together. So uh, uh, any questions about that? So read, metrics, deliverable. Company this company exists, it's in the, in the case study. So there's, there's a description of the company. Good. If there's any question, please come up to us. How much time do we have? So the first thing that we did, instead of looking at what are we all doing, we just said, okay, what is now the real purpose of this not product yet, we have growing product with me, for this constrained environment that we have. So they came with a purpose here, also the customer group that is uh, being targeted, then they have five uh, capabilities, I don't want to call it. Uh, the capabilities, you need to look at capabilities as like the, the, the foods on a table. You have four, four, four table foods, you don't want the fifth one because this is not helping anymore. So you also don't want to get one out because then the things that you put on the table would be like very, very big. So we use what we call needs. So really exclusive, collectively exhausted. So each one of them is actually singular. You can look at the one piece, but you need them all together to actually receive the purpose. For that, they have metrics. They have one metrics that you see now, I will explain in a minute. So they have metrics that they design and trends. So first you design metrics, we start making sure that we have visible trends, and then we set a target condition. Or a threshold, whatever you want to prefer. So as long as you're approaching the target condition at the expected rate, or we stay in the threshold, that's when it stays green. If it doesn't work, then it becomes red. Right. So, or the metric doesn't get updated, then it's also red. Right. So, a red is attractive because this is the one we address first. So, if they didn't update the metric, then it's like, ooh, I'm excuse. So, so, they get into like, damn, we need to have those metrics. Because we have the routine. But Mark mentioned that every two weeks, so in this case, the sprints are three weeks, every three weeks, we have this routine. So, when they see, okay, the things that we do in the Deliver value, this is connected, of course. Uh, in this case, it's not the same row, by the way. So, what did we do? We put numbers. So, this is number one, two, three, four, five. And then this, this is supporting one. I think this is two, this is one again, this is one and four. So, but they are connected so that they understand if we put something away here, it's done. How did it influence? And this is great because in the beginning, as though today, many of those things, it's like it's done. Now, did it have some influence? And you're like, no. So but this is good. This is the good conversation. So we don't force it, we just ask the right questions in the routines. So that's why the routines that they, that they have seen in the other room, it's a good routine to start with. The questions are important. If I ask you like, how is your project? That's like good and how we go. If I ask Harry, like, how is your project doing and how can we improve? You trigger some different things up. So that's why the questions are really thought through so that you get into the right thinking mode. So, here as well, they make decisions on priorities or non priority depending on the context where you have, of course. So, the different colors, uh, I don't remember anymore why they use different colors. Uh, so, basically, this is like the, the product backup on a deliverable level. It's not small details on top of the product backup, but otherwise, this is the backup. So, that's, that's about it. So, they create decisions about here. Then, this is, uh, to me, actually, the ACNA is called the most important part. Um, so they started with doing this, like we do this once a week, today. So you see the inbox? The inbox is like during the day, whatever day it is, if you get a request and it's not known yet or it's not being shared or I want to make a decision or a decision needs to be made, it's just like I get a question, I respond and that's clarification of you go, it doesn't matter. But I need to make a decision because I'm not put in the inbox. 
So, and then initially, once a week, they come together for about 30 minutes, they go to the inbox and see, okay, what are the new requests or problems that have been given to us? And this would come from teams, because teams know this work as well, so they really need to do that. So it could come from customers, it could come from stakeholders, for their managers, yeah, well. So, and then once, once the week, they said, okay, we're going to update this. Uh, what did we notice? That uh, lots of emails and one-on-one -on -one calls between the three people here were still happening. That means you don't do the act on the phone frequently. Because this would be the way to deal with it. So this as well, if it's, they get like a two minutes time cost. So if they discuss something, it's two minutes, not more. If after two minutes you don't know, then most probably goes into the action somewhere that one of those people need to acquire more information and next time you might make a decision. So that's so very effective. Um, for them as well, the three people here, it's not only the routines that they have seen, they also have a content people. So every week they have a block from uh, I think Wednesday afternoon. They have a block of three hours as a content which they kept free. So if there is a problem, like the red ones sometimes, and they say we need to analyze, then it immediately goes in that content. The block is there. And if I only need two of them and not three, the third one is not going to overbook it with something else. The two will go into the work session together, and if they need the third one, they can immediately contact them. So there's no standing still. If something is discovered, it's immediately banned. So, and this is, this is now how they operate. This is the starting point. The fun part is that the management goes into this as well, and they start being like addressing questions, and then people come with information to this product owners, and they go, look at all the <coughs> product background, and why we do stuff, and all that. And it doesn't fit because it's lots of other stuff in that sense. So, and then uh, the management became interested, and now we are moving. Actually, this one will die, most probably. So, are we moving with management to another one? Small, small, small. So, um, two of the three people that we have seen before are in this leadership team. So, I don't call it real anymore, this is leadership team. So, two of them are here, and then we have a couple of options. So, they were that interested that we set up in their environment, so different purpose, the barrier are lots bigger in that sense. Uh, so we have capabilities which are more internal focused, and we have capabilities which are more external focused. They want to change their organization. It's leadership team, it's not public. So change in the organization needs to happen, all that stuff, this is the internal. So and then as well, they have the metrics defined, they still need to start measuring. On the output, you see, they have a lot more output than I think that they need to do in the organization. But this needs to be updated. And then the act and response, where they use more of a template. So, and if this starts to work out, we, we did this kickstart uh, just before summer, and it's an organization where they have around 52 days of holiday in the year. So during July and August, nothing happens. So now in September, we actually pick it up. Yet. My assumption is by the end of the year, this will be the one they use and not the other. You see, it's already looking different. So this is, a, this is how we can grow as well. Outcome based thinking, uh, outcome really like driven organizations, not only from the product perspective, but from the real organization. Merge together. Okay. Yeah, so to, just to wrap up, because uh, you saw just a grasp of what we're doing, and uh, we'll probably put something on the open space like uh, deep dive into leading with Obeya or discuss your results, because we just don't have time to do it now. Um, two things I want to end up with. Whatever you see in these visuals, always go back to the true norm. So make sure it's always connected to this. And the second thing is because the team sees, acts and learns together, even talking about what is your true north and what is it that you perform is already valuable, even if you throw it out afterwards. And that's the whole thing. Make sure they work together, context, share, and learn, act together. And uh, Let's discuss more in, in open space or anywhere else at the conference. Yes. That's it, right? Yeah. Thank you all for joining. I would say. <laughs> By the way, most